My name is Gerald Hausman. I'm a Santa Fe author. I've lived in Santa Fe off and on for about 40 years. And I want to share with you uh, a book that I did when I first came to Santa Fe. My college roommate uh, from Highlands University was Jay DeGroat, whose father was a medicine man. And he shared a lot of stories with Jay and with me. And this, this is the book that came from that experience at Highlands. And eventually it became the book that uh, Santosh Krinsky at Lotus Light published. So I'm very proud of this book because it's been around now for, I think my wife told me this morning it had been around for like 50 years. So anyway, uh, I just want to share with you one of the pieces in here that I think is really significant. Something, uh, I would say, a, it has literary merit, but more than that, it has mythological merit. It's one of those mythological poems that's been around for a thousand years. So it goes like this. Uh, I saw this old woman, Jay told me, and she had a beautiful round earth jar. And I brought that jar with me so that you could see it. And it's got a snake who is a sacred figure in Navajo mythology that wraps around it. And I've had that for quite a number of years. But the story that goes with it is the following. Uh, an old woman is talking and she is speaking about her ancestry and her ancestors. And what she says is, this is a water jar the round earth water jar of my ancestors. The water is not in the jar any longer. I hold the jar in reverence because my ancestor was an earth mother and she shaped it with her hands. Much time has passed since she made it. As the keeper of the sacred jar, I have protected it and it has protected me. Truth be known, I am the jar, she said. I had a dream about that woman, and she was sitting on a black plastic chair, which somehow made it all the more real to me because of the water jar being black pottery. And my my roommate, Jay DeGroat, told me that I had had a sacred dream, if I dreamed of her, that she had actually come back to show me the jar. And the words of wisdom that came from the jar in my lifetime have lasted more than 60 years. I found the jar that you see here and I wrote the book Stargazer from the jar. Not that I was in the jar, you understand, but because the jar was the presentation of that woman. And uh, time has passed, and the Navajos always say, more time, more time. So I've written many stories in the book Stargazer to celebrate those Native American storytellers. And I want to thank you for listening to me and also to tell you that this book was made into a important film. Uh, I'm very proud of it. And I'm very proud of Jay for telling me the stories and for his father allowing us to get them into print and on film. Thank you.